My two-car garage has four single-wide doors, two in the front and two in the back, and they have no insulation. If you ever buy a new garage door, pay extra to get the insulated panels. Otherwise, somebody may have to retrofit insulation later on. I'm using three kits from Owens Corning that come with R8 fiberglass bat and plastic mounting clips. Because I'm only using it on the windowless bottom three quarters of each door, I'm able to use three kits to insulate all four doors. I'll be doing something different around the windows at the top. The other option is an R4.8 faced polystyrene foam board kit, which is $20 cheaper per kit, but doesn't offer as much insulation value, and would have required that I remove some support bars to install. Plus, I hate cutting polystyrene as the beads get everywhere. In addition to a pair of medium gloves, each kit comes with two extra pieces of foam tape, two pairs of plastic clips, and a piece of vinyl repair tape. Perhaps overkill, but I used acetone to remove the paint where I was going to be putting the foam stickers to mount to the back half of the clips. I put up 12 foam squares at a time, and then put up 12 clips. You want to roughly center them in the openings. Where there were support bars, I centered them into the remaining opening. Then it's just a matter of measuring each opening and cutting your fiberglass bats about one inch wider. The height comes pre-cut from the factory for standard garage door panels. The kit includes a pair of medium plastic gloves, and you'll also want a long sleeve shirt when handling the fiberglass. I measured both sides of the bat, cut two marks, and used cheap scissors to cut between them. Cutting fiberglass will dull whatever you use to cut it. The box instructions say to use a razor knife and straight edge, but I was happy with my results with the scissors. If you have multiple vertical bars in your door, you may have a few inches left over from each bat. Perhaps you can find a small void that needs stuffing. Then you just push the bat into the opening. After you are happy with how it is centered, you push down to find the end of the plastic clip, cut a small X in the vinyl with a razor knife, and push a mating clip onto it. The finished door is nice and white and puffy. So far, friction and the plastic clips have held all the fiberglass bats just fine. I'm going to be adding a layer of Reflectix as a radiant barrier over the top of the fiberglass, which will be held on with hot glue, and that will also help keep the fiberglass in place. There is a definite temperature difference between the insulated and non-insulated top panels. Outside in the shade, the insulated panels were 99 degrees, and the uninsulated panels were 95 degrees, as they were being cooled more by the inside of my garage. Inside, the uninsulated panels were 94 degrees, a 1 degree difference from the outside, while the insulated panels were 88 degrees, an 11 degree difference. Every little bit helps. <laughs> 